A cannon fire demonstration is a spectacular piece of chemistry for which risk assessments need to be gone through very thoroughly and should be clearly understood. The reaction is the oxidation of hydrogen peroxide with potassium manganate 7 crystals. 30 cubic centimetres of 20 vol hydrogen peroxide are mixed with 20 cubic centimetres of ethanol. Ideally this would take place in a large crystallising dish or evaporating basin. We may do with a very thick mortar from a pestle and mortar. Even though there was no audience present, we needed a safety screen to protect the camera lens against spitting bits of chemical and the demonstrator wore a full face visor as well as lab coat and gloves. The experiment makes a bit of a mess. You might want to protect your pristine laboratory benches with an appropriate covering before you do the experiment in addition to the safety screens and visors. To carry out the experiments, mix up the hydrogen peroxide and ethanol in the container, set fire to the contents of the container, making sure other ethanol is well out of the way. Put in one go half a gram of larger coarser crystals of potassium manganate 7, potassium permanganate, into the flames and stand back. The bigger the crystals, the better the, the effect. The smaller powdered crystals of potassium manganate 7 are much less impressive. After about 30 seconds, when the bangs subside, use a heatproof mat to extinguish the flame by smothering the burning ethanol, and then set about clearing up the mess that you have made on both the safety screen and the bench top. <laughs> 